Hey, what's up guys? This is Raynan and you're watching Halo Halo Mix Vlogs. Hey guys, thank you for watching uh, my videos and uh, I'd like to thank uh, all the people who have uh, made uh, my channel that they are right now. It's a uh, hundred and almost 180 uh, subscribers now. I didn't imagine that it will uh, uh, go this far, you know, because uh, my my uh, my subject matter is really some uh, some of the most uh, contentious issues that we are facing right now. And so I would like to thank everyone. Um, I don't know who uh, they were, but uh, I know they they helped me uh, make this possible. And so, uh, on the bottom of my heart, I would like to thank you all. And uh, I promise to you that I'm gonna make more uh, videos that are more, uh, you know, uh, relevant uh, in the prevailing conditions that we're facing right now. And so, uh, first of all, I would like to uh, make sure that everyone understands that this video is only for entertainment purposes. Uh, it's not meant to be a uh, financial advice. This is just my personal uh, opinion, my views, uh, as my perspective as an immigrant here in Canada. Okay, so if you uh, do what I'm uh, what I'm saying here uh, on this video or uh, on this channel, you might or you will lose uh, your money. So you have to do your own due diligence before you invest in anything. All right. So moving on. Um, so yesterday I made a video yesterday because it's uh, the anniversary of uh, you know, the stock market crash. It was the day where when uh, this uh, lockdown was implemented because of this pandemic. But for some reason I couldn't upload it. Uh, I couldn't uh, download my videos from uh, the other phone that I was using to my laptop computer. And so I'm making this uh, video again so that... Uh, you know, if uh, for some reason I would be able to uh, download that, uh, you know, that uh, video, I can I can upload it uh, to on YouTube. Uh, but then I'm not gonna explain to you all of the things that I'm uh, that I've explained on that uh, video, because then uh, this is would uh, this would uh, make this uh, video irrelevant, right? Uh, but first off, uh, I would like to mention that uh, I've watched uh, Ivan of. Uh, of uh, Wall Street Silver, he went on uh, um, Kitco News, and uh, he actually lives here in uh, in Alberta, Canada. I didn't know that. Um, you know, I I'm a member of uh, the Wall Street Silver, but I seldom uh, you know post anything. Uh, you know, but uh, you know what I'm meaning. Uh, but I read uh, all these uh, conversations that they're having. You know the reasons why they he um, put this. Uh, you know he made uh, this uh, Wall Street Silver, and now it has become a thing, and uh, it has uh, forty thousand members across uh, across the world. You know it might not be only here in North America. There could be some. Uh, I know there are a lot of Aussies and uh, Europeans and whatnot. So yeah, um, so. His family is from. Uh, is also an immigrant here that came uh, from I don't know where. Uh, that came in, uh, came to Canada in the 1970s, just like me. I'm an immigrant, and uh, I would like to protect my life's work. Uh, I've been here for almost five years now, and I just want to protect what I've, uh, you know, my all my sweat that I uh, that I put into uh, the work that I'm do I've done here. Uh, all the sacrifices. So that's that's what I'm doing right now, and I, I would like to uh, impart to everyone uh, who who's going to watch this uh, video that you know you should do the same thing. I mean, if you're if you want to protect your life's work, then you should uh, you know consider um, you know doing your research because uh, you know this money printing, their uh, this uh, currency printing is not going to stop here. They're just going to continue on, right? Because uh, uh, they have to uh, expand expand the economy and uh, most of the people don't believe them anymore right so they just gonna keep on uh, uh, printing a currency that really has no value it doesn't have any intrinsic uh, you know it doesn't it's not backed by anything except by a decree of the government that says this is legal tender and uh, 
the amount that's uh, that is shown uh, on that paper that is printed on that paper is the value of it but actually its value is nothing okay so um there was an article uh, was an article that uh, says that this, this stimulus check a uh, 10% of it or 40 billion would it be uh, would be used to uh, you know when it goes to uh, its recipients would be used to uh, purchase stocks and uh, cryptos so uh, before the market uh, market close S&P 500 is already up by it's almost at uh, 4 uh, 4000 Four thousand points, and uh, Dow Jones the same thing. And then uh, I remember uh, last week or the week before, or or this week. I think it was last week when uh, a researcher from uh, J.P. Morgan said that uh, this stimulus uh, bill, one point nine trillion, would translate to uh, 44, 4,400 points uh, uh, in the stock in the S and P five hundred. So this will push uh, the stock prices upwards and uh, so that's what happened uh, today so in the morning it was uh, low volatile it was low volatility there was really, really not not much uh, going on and then as the midday approaches it kind of went ballistic in uh, all the uh, stocks uh, up, uh, it looks like they were just waiting for this announcement from uh, the Fed uh, chairman Jer Jerome Powell so after that uh, announcement um, you know the, the the stock market went nuts and so there you are uh you know it's and the crypto crypto space the same thing happened it uh inches back uh inches back higher and uh bitcoin bitcoin is kind of going up like uh in the stair it's, and it's, it's look it looks like uh in a stair stairway to heaven uh, I don't really like uh, that uh, kind of movement of uh, Bitcoin. Uh, I really like what uh, what Ethereum, all the people or uh, in, in investors uh, in, on Ethereum, because uh, Ethereum is more scalable and uh, it has more uh, uh, has more case use for everyday uh, everyday lives. Because this is where uh, most of the NFTs. I remember. Uh, I told uh, told you about it uh, on my uh, previous video, but which I haven't uploaded yet. So these are non fungible tokens. Um, so uh, Ethereum is kind of um, go go up in prices and then establish uh, establish a floor and it goes sideways and then goes back up again. And you know, uh, it's much better that way so that when it slips. You know, it's like uh, you're going up the stairs, and you don't want to go uh, up the stairs where the stairs is like uh, 300, uh, 300 steps without uh, without a landing in the middle, right? So then, uh, if you get tired and uh, you slip your hand, you're gonna end up uh, the uh, the moment you slip your hand or your feet, yeah. Uh, the last thing you're gonna you're gonna see is uh, you know the ground uh, ground beneath you. Right, so uh, uh, that's what happening with uh, Bitcoin. That's what happening uh, to Bitcoin right now. It's like uh, it's a stairway to heaven, and uh, um, when it slips, uh, it doesn't have any floor to uh, support the, this uh, price action. If if ever it slips, and like uh, Ethereum, it goes up and uh, kind of spend a little time on uh, this. Uh, it forms a floor or support. And then from there, it kind of equalize and then goes uh, goes up again. It you know it, it kind of stops uh, halfway through uh, its its price action. So I'm more like uh, Ethereum right now because uh, it's uh, forming a support. That's like what I'm saying. Uh, okay. Um, so the stock market, I'm pretty bullish. Uh, I'm pretty optimistic that we're not gonna see any crash in the first half so that is just my opinion although a lot of uh, expert and analysts and uh, these people who've been uh, who've been following uh, who've been into uh, this uh, um, apocalyptic apocalyptic uh, scenario that everything will crash 80 percent uh, of uh, the stock market will uh, get wiped out and so but with uh, 1.9 trillion uh, in um, 
spending bill that they've just passed i don't think we'll we'll see any anything uh in in the summer in the spring or in the summer well we'll see in the fall it might happen you know there's nothing certain here in this world so anything can happen so you better you know when when you go into uh, the stock market be sure that one of your foot is uh is right by the the doorstep or by the exit so that you can easily uh make your way out right uh but energy so i uh, this morning i traded my uh um energy uh stock so i made uh four dollars uh per share i made four dollars per share in less than uh, a month so i sold it and uh, i bought um um etf uh bank etf stocks you know why because uh with lo this lots of money um the banks uh and uh bonds the banks are the biggest uh, bond holders bond holders of the government bonds and uh, corporate bonds so i want to partake in uh, whatever profit they're going to make from uh from all these uh currency printing that's going on around us that's why i bought uh ba banking uh bank stocks all right so and it pays good so for every uh for every share the dividend is uh uh 10 cents a month so just imagine 10 cents a month for for every share and uh the share price is uh it depends on uh which etf uh, you're going to uh get uh the ones that i have is uh seven dollars i do have another one which is eight dollars so so if you just kind of even it out to ten uh, uh, ten dollars a share, so that would translate to around twelve percent a year, and it's pretty good. I can tell you that pretty good. You you can't uh, if you put if you put your money uh, your your cash into your into a bank account, you're not gonna get twelve percent from uh, from the banks. They're gonna tell you, well, just gonna keep your uh, cash, and you know, and then what they're gonna do is buy these uh, government bonds, bo government bonds and uh, corporate bonds. So they're gonna max out uh, the profit from uh, from that cash that you lend them. All right. So so there you go. That's uh, that's the reason why. But I'm still uh, optimistic. I'm I'm gonna buy back this. Uh, the, I'm gonna buy into. Uh, uh, energy stocks back in the in the near future when I have uh, that extra cash lying around so so I'm gonna buy again uh, energy stocks because that's where uh, the money is and uh, yeah there are a lot of uh, um, undervalued uh, stocks right now so their share price went down so really bad some some of them are in the sense so uh basically penny uh, penny shares or penny stocks so there are a lot of good buys out there um and also i'm into you know if you want to get uh these uh value stocks like uh um i don't know like uh, um, groceries um stuff like that and also bitcoin miners because uh, I've seen uh, quite a few movements in the Bitcoin miners, especially those uh, pretty uh, priced like uh, cents, like uh, 37 cents. Uh, I've seen uh, a quite uh, good movement before the market close. So, yeah, that would be it. Uh, well, thank you for watching. Uh, again, thank you everyone to uh, to all those people who have subscribed and uh, please continue doing so. And uh, if you have anything to say, Please uh, write it down in the comment section below. But don't and don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, and have a good night. Bye bye.